can you believe it has been 10 years since this iconic selfie? Of course, uh, it's an interesting one because we'll see if we can bring it up. <laughs> there it is, 10 years since this iconic selfie. But it's crazy. I gasped when I first found out that it's been 10 years. I audibly gasped, so my poor office had to say, what's happened? Oh, it's my, okay, let's take a look but at this. Let's dissect it. Okay, first off. So much has changed. Oscar host Ellen, 10 years ago, she mm -hmm. was on top of the world. Boom, boom, boom. She's taken a beating, of course. Cancelled. Look who's in the very back. Old Mr. Kevin Spacey, uh, two-time Oscar winner. Boom, boom, boom. Cancelled. Cancelled. And then you have my beloved Brad and Angie. I know. Oh, my so gosh. Sad. I thought that was a love story for, well, not the ages, but for a good another 10 years, but they're gone too. Yeah, so let's wait and see what's going to happen in another 10 years, whether there'll be another selfie that we can look back on in time. But, but I've got something for you. Oh, yeah. 20 years ago, of course, Freaky Friday. Yes. Lindsay Lohan, Jamie Lee Curtis, top of the box office. Guess what? What? They're going to do a sequel. I think that has been confirmed. <laughs> Lindsay Lohan has confirmed Freaky Friday sequel is in the works. Let's take a look. Any timeline? Um, I won't say that yet. Okay. I, won't, I don't want to say too much. Okay. But, it's, but, but you feel it's like happening. this is going to happen. Yeah. Oh, that's great. And we're both excited. Oh, that's great. Well, I'm going to speak for Jamie. Yeah, good. <laughs> Richard Reed, how is this being received? Do you think there's still a big Freaky Friday fan base out there? You tell me. You're the demo. <laughs> well, we'll see. Look, I'm a little bit excited to see Lindsay Lohan back on the screen, but um Well, you know, it's all come, you know, Jamie Lee Curtis, it's she's really the driving force behind it. She's on a career high, Oscar winner from last year. She was saying Every time she meets a fan, every time she meets a journalist, they're saying, is there going to be a Freaky Friday? And she called the studio and says, people want this. Okay. Well, we're getting I'm not it. One we're of not those sure people. when. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> but I think you could be one of those people. Oh, uh, look, I did enjoy it, but that was a long time ago. <laughs> Dakota Johnston has come out firing, saying she's not surprised that Madame Webb got ripped to shreds. Now, you see this very often. What do you make of this? Well, you know, Dakota Johnston, she's one of those people that tells it like it is. She is a no-bull kind of gal. She signed up for the movie. She said it was going to be one thing, and then it turned out to be another thing. It was almost like directed written by, you know, all kinds of people. Everyone had their hand in it. She says it was a totally different experience. She also says she's not cut out for those big budget movies. You know, she's in front of a green screen. Uh, she's not really into that world. She says there is no art involved in any of those superhero movies. And she says, you're never gonna see me in one of these again. I'm gonna strictly, you know, stick to palace cinema. No more hoits for her. Finally, Richard Reed, before I have to let you go, Madonna has opened up about her near-death experience. What does she have to say? Well, we all know Madonna has a lot of powerful friends, but did you know she was friends with God? Um, <laughs> that is used to me. <laughs> okay, she opens about her near-death experience. Apparently, when she was that induced coma for four days with a bacterial infection, this was last year, she had a vision from God saying, will you come? Do you want to join us? She said softly in her head, no. And then he said, are you sure? She goes, no. And then she woke up from her coma. And she's back. Well, we're happy that she's here. Uh, I'm telling you, like anywhere. a prayer, sister, like a prayer. Richard Reed, thank you so much for joining us. Great to speak with you. Anytime.